Hello everyone, it's Kieran with Thrifted Living. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. If you're a fan of the Dollar Tree like I am, you have probably seen the beautiful collection that they have out for spring. I am obsessing over so many different pieces in this collection and I have been to the Dollar Tree probably three or four times since they put this stuff out and I feel like every time I go, I find something new. One of the first things that caught my eye are those beautiful fake succulents that they have in like the home and garden section. I was smitten with them. I think they're so pretty, they're so cute, they're so petite and I just absolutely loved them. Of course I went on Pinterest and looked up some ways that I can use them in our home. I found so many cute projects on Pinterest but I finally narrowed it down to three ways that I would like to use succulents in our home. Today I would like to share with you exactly how I made these pieces. The first piece that I would like to share with you are these super cute little glass bowls with the succulents in them. I actually took a little bit of inspiration from Target for these. I went to Target looking to see if they had any Valentine's Day decor on sale. Unfortunately, they didn't, but they did have all of their spring and summer stuff out. And I was able to look through all of their home decor that they have out right now, and I got such great inspiration for these succulent projects. This is the piece that inspired me at Target, and as you can see, it is a beautiful piece, but unfortunately, it was $15, and I did not want to spend $15 on that project, so I decided to make this on my own using products from the Dollar Tree and products that I already had at home. So this is my alternative to the piece of decor that they had at Target. This turned out so cute, and I'm I'm pretty sure that the Dollar Tree was telling me to make this because when I went to the Dollar Tree they had the succulents right next to these glass bowls and I was like okay Dollar Tree I get it I get I get what you're trying to tell me and then right around the corner I think it was in like with the like the glassware for the candles like where you would find those glass mirrors they had these little stones and they had some that were a little bigger but I didn't like how big they were knowing how small this little jar is and the thing that I love about this jar is that it is so petite I know the Dollar Tree has bigger bowls they're probably about twice as big as this and I just don't like how big and bulky they are so I'm happy that they finally have a little petite size this project was so simple it took very little effort practically all I had to do was cut open bags and pour things into these jars first I just cleaned out the jars then I poured the stones into them and then I just took the succulents and stuck them right in it took me less than five minutes altogether for all three of these. It was definitely worth the effort. They turned out so nicely, and I just love the differences in colors. I think they're so sweet. So here's the first one, and then this is the next one. Has a little purple succulent in it, and the last one has just another little green succulent in it. I just think that these turned out so cute. For the second and third projects, I incorporated my love of thrifting and I used some items that I found at garage sales this past summer. The second way that I used the succulents for home decor was by putting them inside of a shadow box. The thrifted items in this project are the shadow box, but also the Spanish moss that I have inside of it. I got both of those at a garage sale this past summer and I think that this turned out so cute. The only problem with this project was that it was a mess. The Spanish moss was a complete mess. I've never used it before and it just got all over everything. I felt so itchy and just ugh after. All I did was open up the shadow box and then I put some hot glue in the bottom just to glue the bottom onto it and then I added the Spanish moss. I put a little dots of hot glue here and there inside and then I just plopped and then I just put three succulents right on the edge and I think it turned out perfectly. I absolutely love it. It's very simple. It's almost like a little succulent garden, but it is no maintenance because they are not real. So I think that this turned out really, really nicely as well and it definitely incorporated my love of thrifting. The last project I would like to share with you is so cute. I'm absolutely thrilled with how it turned out and here it is. It might be a little difficult for you guys to see. There we go. This is actually the glass from the shadow box and all I did was take a um, paint marker and I wrote, aloe you very much like aloe vera and then I just glued two fake succulents that I believe are aloe I'm not 100% sure I couldn't confirm that on the internet but I'm pretty sure that's what these are supposed to be and I just glued them on the side and then right at the bottom I painted a little heart um and I just thought that was really really cute I had looked on Pinterest for sayings like the succulents but I wasn't really finding anything and then I found this aloe vera one and I thought it, I thought it was really cute so I love how this turned out and the thing that I love the most about this is that I'm getting use of this extra piece of glass that I thought I wouldn't have a purpose for after I took it out of the shadow box so I love being able to upcycle into you utilize every part of a thrifted piece that I get because I feel like it's really beneficial to not discard any piece that can be used 
in another way. So I love how this one turned out. I think it's so sweet and I plan on displaying it right behind me on my shelf. So there you have it. Three easy ways to use those adorable succulents from the Dollar Tree in your home. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I took the succulents and turned them into three beautiful pieces of home decor. And I hope this inspires you to go to the Dollar Tree and find some items that you can turn into home decor. I have included detailed pictures and descriptions of these projects on my blog. So please make sure that you go check out my blog at thriftedlivingblog.com. And while you're there, don't forget to to enter the giveaway. Right now I am hosting a giveaway on my blog. If you would like to be entered in the giveaway, I will link the video above where I describe the rules of entry. So please make sure you check that out so you could be entered into my giveaway. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram where I post my thrifted teacher outfits of the day. I also love to share everything that I'm working on. So please make sure you follow me on there so you can stay up to date with everything that I'm doing. And if you don't have an Instagram but would like to follow me, you can also follow me on Facebook at Thrifted Living Page. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.